Hi, my name is Gwen Peterson. I'm a health coach with Take Shape for Life, and I am excited to be doing this video. I, it's a little preemptive, but I thought, hey, I'm excited, so I want to share it with all of you guys. Now, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, make sure to subscribe to this because um, what I'm about to say, there's going to be multiple updates, and it's not something I'm going to be sharing in my emails to my clients and things like that because this is about my journey and some things that are going to be that I'm going to be testing out and as a coach my job is about your journey and not filling your journey up with my journey so make sure to number one subscribe to my youtube channel and number two please 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 comment on my videos because I am kind of just plugging along doing my own thing over here and um, I would love you guys feedback on what I'm about to do so um, as of right now, my scale is sitting at 137 pounds and still losing, and I am 5'3". And so right now, I am right at the top of the um, green part of the BMI chart, which, as we all know, is pretty subjective, but the reality that I know is that I still have about, I don't know, 7 to 10 pounds that I could really pull off to know that I could start getting rid of some of these fat pods that I have. For instance... People keep saying, you look fine, you look fine. But for me, I know I have this area still here. And then in my waist, let me pull this down so you can see. You know, I still have that that, you know, I can still grab. So that's the thing is, I just know that for me to feel like I'm in a healthy range, I get to get a few more pounds off. But then what do you do then? To me, now, this is truly where the health kicks in for me, is where I get to work on what does my body fat analysis look like and how can I get into a healthier body fat range? Now, we both know that I'm not going to go compete in a bodybuilding competition. That's not what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, I want to be that person that is toned and has muscles that aren't overkill because I'm not going to be drinking all those crazy drinks and all this. So here's my exciting news. I have scheduled for October 13th to go into a bod pod, which is this. Let me show you, um, let me share my screen and show you what a bod pod looks like. So you go into this hyperbaric chamber, you go in with um, a little bit of clothing, little clothing, you sit on that um, little thing, it weighs you and then they close the chamber over you. It's like a decompression chamber that they would do for somebody with scuba where it takes the gravity out of the thing and um, at, in two minutes it, it measures your whole body composition. Now. Could I be doing a caliper whole test every single time I'm going to do this? Yes, but I figure it's only $20 and it's 20 minutes away up at Weber State University. So let's do it right. So here's what I'm doing. The next four weeks, I'm doing the five and one to get rid of this last seven to 10 pounds because I want what I'm going to do to be apples to apples to apples measurements. So I go in the bod pod October 13th. By the way, I'm looking down at my notes so I can make sure I'm telling you this, my plan of attack. So. October 13th, I go in the bod pod. I should be around 130 pounds, which is a, a good weight for somebody my height. Um, so I'm going to do the five and one Metafast plan for four weeks just to see what my body burns just doing the five and one with no exercise. Um, of course, I move around and I park at the end of the parking lot and take the stairs and stuff, but I'm talking like real exercise. So then I'm going to go back in the bod pod a month later, four weeks later, which will be November 15th ish. So I'm then going to do the five and one, just lifting weights, no cardio, because we know the cardio is where it starts burning a lot of calories, and um, that's where you start needing to adjust for your food. So five and one, straight lifting, no cardio, to see what building the muscles does to shifting the fat loss. So then I'm going to go back in the bod pod around December 15th. And then this is going to be kind of the really interesting one is that I'm going to start high intensity interval training for the next four weeks, which for those of you that don't know, if you go talk to a personal trainer, this is the new thing that they say gets your fat, get, gets you to burn the most fat the fastest and to build the muscle. And so what it is, is let's say when I'm going to be going and um, doing weights, I'm going to let's say go on the squat machine and do a set of 15 squats. Well, then in between that rest time, there is no rest time. You're doing like 20 jumping jacks, 20 stair climbers, 20 burpees, whatever, to get your heart rate jacked even higher, and then you go back and do the next set of, of weights, and then you go back and do stair climbers, and so you're only at the gym maybe 45 minutes, but you are cardio lifting all of that. So I'm going to start out doing the five-in-one, but if I get tired 
dizzy, um, hungry, that will be my warning sign that my body can't function on the five and one. Because everybody asks me, what's the exact thing to do when you exercise? Well, guess what? You need to listen to your body. So I'm going to start on the five and one. If I start to feel any of those symptoms, I'm going to go do three extra ounces of protein a day, probably in like two mozzarella cheese sticks. That makes it easy. And if that's not enough, I'm going to bump up to adding a carb smart yogurt because those have about nine grams of carbs, uh, nine grams of protein and only three grams of carbs. Then if that's not enough, then I'll shift to a four and two. But I'm going to take it as my body tells me, not just blanket statement, I'm going to do five and one or four and two. It's all about listening to your body and your needs based on what you're expending. So I just, I know this is a little premature. I'm going to do video, a video on October 13th of me in the bod pod starting this process. But since I know you guys all watch kind of the crazy things that I do, just wanted to introduce you to what my next step in my journey is because I cannot wait to see what all of this does. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to comment so I know that I'm not alone in this little crazy thing I'm going on. And um, I hope anything I'm saying or doing motivates you to stay on plan. And remember, you get to be your healthy. And whatever that looks like is what it gets to look like for you. And for me, it gets to look like a little muscle definition. Have a great week. Bye-bye.